I want to identify nodes in this circuit for times t less than zero and t greater than zero. This circuit has a switch in it. So this switch is open for t greater than zero and it's closed for t less than zero. That means that this circuit is fundamentally changing between times t greater than zero and t less than zero, so the nodes will not necessarily be the same between those two times. For t less than zero, the switch is open and it looks like an open circuit. For t greater than zero, the switch is closed and it looks like a short circuit or a perfect conductor. So for t less than zero, there's an unknown voltage difference across the switch. For t greater than zero, there's a zero voltage difference across the switch. So what I'm gonna do is treat this as two completely separate problems. So for t less than zero, the circuit looks like this. So for this time period, this is an open circuit and I don't know anything about the voltage difference across that switch. That means that this and this point could be at different voltages. I have to define those both as nodes. This is also a node. It contains only perfect conductors. This is a node that connects this element, this element, this element, and this element, and that element. And this and this are also nodes. For t greater than zero, I'll redraw the circuit again because it's a different circuit. Now for t greater than zero, the switch is closed and this has become a perfect conductor. Since this is a perfect conductor, this area is now all at the same voltage and I have a single node where I used to have two nodes before. Nothing else about the circuit has really changed. This is still a node. This entire area here is still a node. This is still a node and this is still a node but things are very different up here which affects your analysis of the entire circuit.